course, it's National Apprenticeship Week this week and as part of our apprenticeship offer here at Cheshire College South and West, we work with over 500 employers locally, regionally and nationally, including Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service. Um, and Lindsay is the Services Apprenticeship Coordinator and she's joining us today to talk a bit more about apprenticeships with the service and the real value of an apprenticeship both for apprentices and for Cheshire Fire. So um, Lindsay, if you'd like to introduce yourself, tell us a bit more about what you do um, with Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service, please. Okay, well, um, I've, as you just mentioned, I'm Lindsay Daniels, the Apprenticeship Coordinator for Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service. I've worked for Cheshire Fire for the last 10 years and in the last 18 months in the post of Apprenticeship Coordinator. Um, and I coordinate the apprenticeship programmes, which can involve um, informing the apprentices of the specific programme detail and their end point assessments, and also organising the training and reviewing the apprentice development and also providing support as a coach to them. Um, so that's kind of um, my involvement in the apprenticeship programmes um, in Cheshire Fire. Great, so you're kind of um, an apprentice, apprentice's first point of contact and first port of call um, whilst they're with you. Yes, and all the way through their apprenticeship journey, um, whether that be, um, it's usually over a couple of years, so just developing that relationship and support, um, that they've got someone that they can go to um, to sort of support them through that, that time. Fantastic. And um, I'm sure you're aware this year's theme for National Apprenticeship Week is all about building for the future. Um, and I'd be interested to hear, Lindsay, how Cheshire Fire um, and Rescue Service have built your workforce, how you've built your workforce through apprentices. Yeah, well, Cheshire Fire reintroduced apprenticeships around five years ago. So we've had um, a three or four cohorts now of apprenticeships coming through. Um, and um, applying for the role of firefighter and also uh, our firefighter and community safety apprenticeship programme. And the apprentices have provided, uh, apprenticeships have provided individuals with the underpinning knowledge, skills and behaviours required for a firefighter within a modern fire and rescue service, uh, which uh, we in Cheshire believe that, that we are. Um, so. Um, it really is providing that underpinning knowledge and skills specific to the role. Um, In terms of progression, um, what roles have apprentices at Cheshire Fire um, gone on to progress to having completed their apprenticeships with you? So we, in, in our firefighter and community safety apprenticeship, um, program. Our uh, apprentices have then gone on to uh, a further operational firefighter apprenticeship and to get the knowledge, skills and behaviours of an operational firefighter. Um, and then a number of our apprentices have also gone on to um, degree apprenticeships um, within management. So providing them with those skills for progression and into roles maybe for the future um, for them to provide to go into other roles specific within the fire service, maybe management and leadership. It's given them the opportunity to develop themselves further. Brilliant, that's fantastic to hear. And in terms of the um, type of apprenticeships Cheshire Fire um, offer, do you do do you have various ones? Um, so specific, I know you mentioned firefighters and then the community as well. Could you talk us through about the different apprenticeship offering? Yeah, so we, we offer a firefighter and community safety apprenticeship program. So um, that is a two uh, two apprenticeships in one, in that um, the individual will do a community safety advisor apprenticeship first, um, which is um, for 15 months, and then go on to a two year operational firefighter apprenticeship and gain the knowledge and skills of an operational firefighter. Um, and what it does, it develops the individual to also have more of an understanding of our prevention activities and the work that we do within the service. Um, it provides them with that, that skill and that they can then go on and, and perform that within a, a firefighter's role um, in the community. But we also um, recognise that our 
our, our existing staff have the opportunities of apprenticeship programmes um, and they can um, sign up to apprenticeships that relate to their role, whether it be in an administrative role or within a management and leadership role to support their development through an apprenticeship programme. So that's great to hear in terms of the different developments and I guess going back to the community um, and then on to the firefighting, it's nice to, I guess, doing it in that order allows um, learners to kind of see the full scope, like you said, and then you progress on to you've got the prevention and then you're doing the next step. Yeah, it definitely provides that development um, and uh, that, they, they, that they need in a firefighter role um, and it gives them that insight into um, the work that we do do in the community and how important that is. Yeah. And when it comes to um, employing apprentices, what do you specifically look for? So we look for enthusiasm, uh, committed to their learning new skills, dedication to deliver excellent customer service to the community and more importantly and I think this has been more important in the last 12 months is personal resilience so this year personal resilience has been ever so um, more important for our apprentices uh, working within the community and they've had to change um, to adapt to their working environment and to um, support the community due to COVID-19 so COVID-19 has had a massive effect on the journey of our apprentices, um, but, but they've managed to still um, achieve their apprenticeship um, qualification despite that. So personal resilience is really, really important. So of course there are huge benefits to apprenticeships both for employers and apprentices themselves. What is the value of having um, an apprentice on board in an organisation such as Cheshire Fire, both for yourself and for the individual? Well, for the organisation, uh, an apprentice provides a passion for learning and ongoing development and growth. Um, and that is something, sometimes it can be a fresh pair of eyes, it can be a breath of fresh air, someone new coming in and seeing how we can do things differently. Um, so we really benefit um, new people coming into our organisation um, and providing that feedback um, but ultimately it results in a more knowledgeable, more skilled and more qualified workforce. And then from an individual's perspective I think it provides opportunities for them to develop into specific roles within our service. Again it's very important, I keep, I keep saying this, but the knowledge, skills and behaviours um, are really important and, and um, it helps them to get those under, that underpinning knowledge, skills and behaviours um, and also receive a recognised qualification specific to their job role. Um, so it's upskilling individuals and, and giving them a, a recognised qualification. In terms of um, current apprentices, whether they're with yourselves or on with um, other employers. Do you have any advice for them in terms of make, whether it's making the most of their experience or looking ahead to the future? Any kind of wise words or nuggets of wisdom that you could um, share? Yeah, what I would say is that apprenticeships provide a platform for learning. And the advice I would give is to enjoy every moment of the apprenticeship programme. Take advantage of all the opportunities that it can provide, whether that be meeting new people, new contacts within your organisation or trying new things or gaining uh, new knowledge, uh, learning new skills and developing new behaviours. Fantastic. Well, that's brilliant. well, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak to us today, Lindsay. Um, we really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Take care.